top of the food chain, rock with a rat tail, king sanitation, cover that the trap mail. Yo guys, what's going on? Tim Purcell, welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a really cool looking glowing gaming uh, face cam overlay in Photoshop. It's really easy to do, um, but it looks really good. Uh, a few of you have actually suggested this in the comments. So yeah, if you guys want uh, me to use any of your video ideas, then let me know down below. I'm always reading the comments. Guys, can we break 100 likes on this video? If we do, I'll release the uh, template, the Photoshop template down below in the description. If we hit 100 likes, Likes, guys subscribe if you are new turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos keep up the sick support my channel guys it's been amazing over the past uh, few weeks so yeah keep it up guys and yeah let's get straight on into the video right guys so we are here in Photoshop so uh, this is basically what I'll be showing you guys how to make it's nothing too complicated this is just the basics on how to make a glowing uh, face cam overlay you can also add other things to it like text um, and you can change the colour of things and add shapes like at the bottom over here you can see like a black rectangle you can add this in other places um, it's totally up to you guys but I'm just going to show you the basics um, so what you want to do is open up a 1920 by 1080 document um, and the first thing you want to do we're just going to change the background to um, <coughs> a black so I'm just going to press alt backspace and keep it locked next go over to the rectangle tool and just choose a colour so I'm going to choose like a dark blue actually I'm going to go with this colour right here and just make a random rectangle and you want to change the width to 1280 and the height to 7, 720 and then get rid of the fill and then add a stroke and use that colour that you was using and change the pixels to about 20 like so and yeah once you've done that you can rasterize it so now what we're going to do we're going to add some indents um, where we're going to cut out certain areas so what you want to do is go over to here then go to the polygonal lasso tool and we're just going to add an in well actually first let's put it right in the center so you can add some rulers if you want. So I'm going to do just drag from the top and the side. And yeah, so first thing, I'm going to go down to the bottom left corner and holding down shift, you want to click here, which is kind of in the center and then follow it along and then in the center of this part over here and then drag up a little bit and then back down again in the center so you get this sort of shape holding down shift the whole time and then press delete on the keyboard so you get this cool little shape at the bottom left <clears throat> and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight this part here delete it and then highlight this part press ctrl C ctrl V then press ctrl T and right click and flip horizontal and then just put it back in place and then what you want to do is just group all that together by pressing Ctrl E and you can delete the top part and then press Ctrl J to duplicate the bottom and then right click flip vertical and move it to the top so now you've got this cool little overlay going on and it looks really nice uh, so then you want to press Ctrl E on the keyboard to merge it and then double click on the layer uh, to bring up the layer styles Go to bevel and emboss and you want to make sure that the uh, size is at 1 and the highlight mode is on overlay and shadow on 0. Then add an inner glow and again you want to make sure the size is on about 2 or 3 quite low and make sure that the blend mode is on overlay and you can change the opacity to whatever you want. I think about 50% looks pretty good on this and then we're just going to rasterize it all and then add a new layer create clipping mask and then go to the brush tool and we're just going to go to white and at the top we're going to add a spot of white and on the side over here and then on the other side as well and at the bottom and just set that to overlay like so and then if you add a new layer 
create a clipping mask and do the same but with black but do it in the corners like so black over here and then set that to either off overlay or soft light soft light probably looks better and then speed down the opacity of that and then you want to merge everything together with Control e um, so yeah now you've done that it's looking really cool already and basically in these little indents we're going to add a small little glow so what you want to do is add a new layer uh, not a new layer go to the rectangle tool and choose light blue or whatever color you're using you want to choose a light version of that color and we're just gonna add a small rectangle like so rasterize it bring it below the overlay let me just zoom in a second go across and I'm just gonna place it right there make it a bit smaller and now we can just add an outer glow to it and an inner glow, inner, add the inner glow first you can copy this down, it's got set to overlay and the size on 3 again and then add an outer glow make sure it's blue and set the blend mode to either lighten or screen each one looks quite nice and I'm, I'm gonna set the size to about 9 for this one so yeah that looks pretty good and now basically you just wanna duplicate it and put it in each of the indents that we've created like so I'm just gonna group them together with Control G and then Control J, Control T and move it across. Like so. And then finally, Control J again, Control T, right click, flip, uh, rotate 90 degrees. And we're just gonna place it, place one here and then open up the group and then select one of them and bring it to the other whoop, bring it to the other side and then you want to uh, press control J one more time control T and bring it to the top and then we've added some really nice glows to the overlay. Uh, for the final thing, um, you want to select the overlay and then add a new layer, create clipping mask and then where there's um, a glowing area just press using with the blue brush and we're just gonna add another glow on top of the overlay like so and set that to color dodge and just bring down the opacity of it so it's not too bright so that's pretty much it for the overlay you can add other things um, like I said you can add indents so if you just go to the rectangle tool go to black maybe you could add a rectangle that goes right in the center down here rasterize it and you can set this to overlay and then bring down the opacity of it and it looks pretty cool you can add things in the corner as well and you can also add like a box that goes underneath for example like down here you can add a box and add text in there as well um, and yeah that's pretty much it guys I'm gonna uh, make a really nice looking overlay that you guys can download in the description down below but we need to hit 100 likes before we do that so make sure you go hit the like button down below and share it about with your friends um, and yeah subscribe if you are new turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos I might stream today um, we'll see follow me on Twitter at TimpersHD to find out if I do um, and also follow me on Instagram Timpers Creations. I'm always uploading on there would really mean a lot guys uh, Let me know what videos you'd like to see from me next on the channel and with that all being said I hope you're having a sick day today and I'll see you in the next video